Okay, if you haven't figured that out yet, um, I bumped my phone and now I, I lost everybody. So I'm going to try this again. I hope it works. This is my biggest challenge. There. Okay. I'm, oh, hi, Bernie. <laughs> Crape. I lost Danella and Bev Boone. Hopefully they'll come back or they'll realize that I am no longer, um, that I'm no longer talking to them. Crape. So. I'll have to delete the other one. I'm just so disappointed. I swear. Okay, well, at least if I could... Okay, now, Bernie, you tell me if I turn my camera like this, can you still see me okay? Okay, great. Okay, well... Hopefully Donella will realize, and Bev will realize, that um, my phone decided to play games with me, and um, I lost everybody, so I had to start all over. So, okay, um, I have a tip to share with you. This past week, when we had our technique class, one of my stamping ladies showed me that when you have your stamping blends and you know you put them all um, put them all together okay now I'm watching on my Kindle and I'm sideways hmm I'll just leave it for a little bit I don't think that's right anyway she told me how she can, you are sideways. Okay, I'm going to put it right back the way we had it. There, now I'll be okay. Okay, anyway, she takes her stamping blends and she puts a Velcro sticker on them. So we'll put one on this one. And we'll put the other side on that one. And look at now they're always going to be now they're always going to be together and I'm not going to be losing the darn things all the time. I thought that was a fantastic idea. So that was the tip that I learned myself this week. I was real excited. Um so anyway, our blast from the past technique this week is called kissing and we did the kissing technique oh probably uh january 9th on 2012 and what you're going to need for the kissing technique is a solid stamp and i am using i'm using the stamp set um dashing deer that also has matching framelets. And um, we're going to be using these two little guys. And then uh, then you need to also have a patterned uh, stamp. And that one I picked would be hardwood. It's a background stamp, but it's still, I think this is going to work out just great. So, okay, what you need to do is... Here's our paper. We have we have an old olive base. We have an old ah Bev Boone is back. Thank goodness that you realize that you weren't seeing me. Um, you have a old olive base that measures five and a half by eight and a half. And we're scored it at four and a quarter. We have an early espresso layer, and we have two three and three quarters by five. And 
if you've been to any of my classes, you'll know I do that quite a bit. Um, one will be for the front. The other one will be for the inside. Okay. So, but first we're going to worry about the front. Okay. We're going to go and have a little piece of uh, scrap paper. And this is how we do the kissing technique. You're going to have a... Um, a light colored ink, which in this case we're going to use crumb cake, and a darker colored ink, and that will be our soft suede. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink up our solid stamps with the crumb cake, that's the lighter one, and we're going to ink up our hardwood stamp set with the soft suede, which is the darker one. Okay, so I'm going to first ink that up. Okay, and then ink, ink up our deer. And then what you're going to do is holding this, um, you're going to go and take your solid stamp, and if this was a patterned uh, littler stamp, you'd hold one in each hand. And so then you hold one in each hand and gently but firmly bring them together and kiss. Okay. And then put it on our scrap paper. And you can see um, the texture, the lines from the hardwood going through the deer. And you, um, this is this is the kissing technique. Now well, let's finish our, um, let's finish our card. First, I have to get some of this stuff put aside. Okay, this is what it looks like. We're gonna go and take our, we're gonna take our framettes. And cut out our deer that the framettes are you know bundled with the dashing deer uh, let's see there's there's this one and then there's this one and then through the magic of TV we have our two little deer all cut out so yeah isn't that cute Okay, we'll set them aside while we finish making our card. So here's the front, and I am going to take some Mamasi Meadow ink and the trees from Lovely as a Trees tree. This is probably the second stamp set I ever bought was Lovely as a Tree, which is why it is um, in wood versus clear or photopolymer. I'm going to ink up our Lovely as a, our Lovely Trees. That'll look like that. Then we have to go and have our, then we have to have um, some, a sponge. And what I'm going to sponge using Mossy Meadow is a little bit of ink to fill in our grass. Okay, let's add let's add a little bit of soft suede. Okay. And to finish it, we're going to add a little bit of 
balmy blue. Add a little bit of balmy blue for the sky. Okay, there's that. Just want to go and close this up. Um, that's, that's how that looks. I'm going to go and take a little bit of glue and put that on our early espresso layer. And then taking this, and add it to our card base. So that looks good. So far, so good. We're going to go and we'll just set that aside for a little bit. Taking our really espresso ink, I want to go and stamp our. Uh, I want to stamp uh, what we'll have on the inside. This is all from the Dashing Deer. Um, stamp set and it really isn't all about deer. Ah, you found us Donella. I'm glad you did. It's it's me. It's the camera. I tried to flip it around and of course um, I lost everybody. Clean that one up. So far this is what our, our card looks like and then I'm going to Even though this is in the, this is like a Christmas stamp set, I'm making it into a, a thank you card. So, okay. We're going to go and stamp our deer. I wonder what I, oh, you guys would just would have a good time laughing at me because I set something down. Of course, I can't find it now. Well, it's okay. I wanted to put deer, but I think I'll do is use my mossy meadow ink up my uh, ink up my trees from lovely as a tree stamp off and then stamp again I always like to decorate the inside of my card that doesn't look too bad Yes, I'm glad there's a replay too, Donella, so that you'll be able to see this technique. Yes, that is for sure. But it was very easy. Um, just to recap real quick, you have your, you have a solid stamp, which was my dashing deer, which I've laid someplace and can't find. And then you take a pattern and, oh, here it is. Which was the hardwood stamp set. I took the dashing deer, inked the deer up with your lightest color, and inked up the hardwood one with your darkest color, and then put them together, hold them there firmly like a kiss. 
and then stamp. And that's that's how you do the technique. Okay, now we have our two little deer. We just have to finish our card, and I'm going to use some mini dimensionals. And we'll put this one here. And we'll put this other one right here. So there, we have a really pretty um, thank you card. Many merry thanks using the kissing technique. I really like how that one turned out. Um, in fact, that was an original card. I didn't case it from ever anybody. Um, now, the next next time I see you, that's our card. The next time I see you will be on Wednesday, October thirty first, which is Halloween. So you probably aren't going to want to watch it. Well, I might have to do it on the 29th instead. Didn't think about that. I have class. Our kit class meets on the Tuesday. So, but anyway, we're going to do faux metal. And this just goes to show that was done in February 2012. That just goes to show how old these are because the silver, uh, we use tinfoil. There was no such thing as the silver cardstock, nor embossing folders with stamping up. We used texture plates. So that should be interesting. So we'll see what we come with then. So I've taken 25 minutes of your time. I appreciate you coming, you spending the time with me. And you just have a great rest of the evening and weekend. And um, I hope you'll join me again. It'll probably be Monday, October 29th will be our next one. You'll see all the emails. It won't be a big deal. Um, thank you for joining me. And have a great rest of the night. Thanks.